This is Gerald Johan van Waals at the Educational Channel that is in support of the theory that is also explained and developed uh, during the study of the development of the word. And you have also some extras uh, that have uh, other associations with this theory in the application of the word. Both of these volumes are also one uh, book, but uh, I recommend the separate volumes because they're slightly extended and it's they have a little bit extra explanations the theory is about uh, the meaning of letters and letter combinations how you can recognize them in words how you can develop them uh, basically there are orientations in time and space but also there is a way to change this into the formation process which is behind it the formation process is called sound in form but it's not the real foundation that's why it was um, uh, a bit more difficult to yeah, analyze and uh, explain what is all uh, behind this what is playing uh, with this but I can make it a bit more simple that you, when you uh, when you realize both things the orientation of where exactly they are a reference to and the way how they form themselves in a formation process it's it's actually a process that is in these two uh, going into these two directions it's pointing you in the two direction but at the same time you can also express it with a formation process in these last couple of videos i will do both at the same time in an educational way so that you can see how it works and I will do this in this video with a lot of examples. I have the combination of letters of the P with the L. I will explain it with the demonstrations of plank, plint, plea, please, plot, plan, plat, and plant. Okay, let's go. The examples will be plank, plink, plea, please, plot, plan, plant. I will start with the first word, plank. I will build it up. I will make a really educational thing. So here are some of the faces. So the pl we have already with the N added, the K added, uh, and uh, the A added, the N added, and then the K added. I will tell you how I did this and how you can do this as well. 
So we have here the plow, the pressed out plow. With the A, we have to have the A orientation. There's, uh, we will. It, it has to have a center, but also it has to have a plane, mostly a horizontal plane, that will be a very good guidance to help us uh, to build further upon. So well, we'll add that to the plow. And you know, we'll, we will get as the simple as possible result as you can see there. And therefore I had to enlarge the A a little bit so that it would fit and match so that I have the reference part of PLA. So I have the, the PLA. The next letter is the N. So how we will add the N? What is a N? It is the something with something in, in it. Mostly it is a large thing, which a smaller version in it, so that uh, that you have, uh, yeah, so that you, it'll become a content that you can use. That's the N. If I do that, okay, let's do that. I have the form here of plan, as you can see there. When I have the plan puzzle here, I will also have to add the K. The K is a breaking point, so let's add breaking points to the plan. It, it would, could be enough in the middle, but uh, I have them in the full form as well. So I have here the plank, and the plank is is uh, recognizable what the plank is. I already had this uh, this example before, but I will go deeper into it this time. There's also a, a second meaning of plank, and that makes it a bit more, uh, more difficult. It's, it's because not everything is uh, has a physical form. The formation is not always the most important thing. There's something behind it. And that's why words can be used different in different contexts, in different perspectives and so on. But the, the real thing behind it, the process itself, is always the same. So if you have a plank of uh, that, uh, how it is used, uh, how it can be used as uh, as well, it actually is also it also has the meaning, the underlying meaning, and this is even more important than the physical object. I had here underneath it the word plan, and the K of the breaking part is actually also saying I take out something, I select something out of a plan. And this is my result. This is also what you say. So um, basically, it's not only the formations and the physical objects that, that are important. The reasons why it is formed are much more important. So let's go back into the words. So let's go to from plank to plan and to pla because this word exists as well. And see, and then build up back to plank. And see how it is not as from a physical plane alone, but also from the directions it's expressing there. So let's start again from plo and add the pla here. But it is in this case I will add the extra di dimension, which which is a preference with the L. I will add the extra dimension to show what is really going on there. So I have here the pla. And pla actually exists in French, pla, but it's written differently. It's actually written as pla with a T. A pla, probably it will come from plateau. It's a, it's a, small, a smaller uh, uh, version of, the, of a word of it. But actually, if you write it down, pla, the T is nothing more than a, a pointing out in a, at a certain place or uh, place or placement that is important um, and yeah of course it's on the a ah, so it's there so it's that certain placement which is there the t is not expressed so it is not the most important emphasizing it's more the the rest is directing towards that pla and i have an expression which expresses it pretty well because if you express the pla at its best, you represent it at its best, you put it on the plate, you put it to the uh, go, uh, go to the people and you have this dish on the plate because the pla is a dish, 
but also the presentation. Everything on from the word is directing to the presentation of a dish on a plate, and preferably to have the best presentation, put it under underneath. Uh, 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 what is the word again? Uh, a bowl. Opens it, and you focus immediately to what matters really, which is the thing on the plate, on the the placement there on the plate is the most important but the whole process towards it from p of process to l the presentation in the ex in the extra representation that is coming forth from it in the process and so on that you you process uh, during the whole thing here it is has the form of the half bowl and the presentation that pops up at the end you have the T, the place itself. Pla, plat, also is an English word, it seems, and it, uh, it, it has a reference to a piece of land. And when the T is expressed, the whole presentation is of P, L and A is lessened. The T is the final result. The final result is the place itself without much presentation needed as with pla in French, the pla, how you, we really have to focus on the place where in the end we will focus upon. Let's go to the next word from there. Plan is actually at the same spot, but it's wider. It's the whole area of focus in which we put a content in it. Oh, it's still there. So from this plan of focus, we can also go to the next word, plant. And with plant, there are two meanings, and actually both of them fit in the same spot. When we simply point the point where plant exists and starts from, it's just a point that we have there. That's what you have in the middle drawing there's a specific starting point in the area of focus that we have and because it's the potential point of presentation it also can be pressed out of it and then we have something that grows out of the place which is a plant so a plant is something that is plant in an area this area can be the focus foundation but something can grow out a plant in the all the meanings of the word and then we go back to the plank so what is actually then going on on plank it will also fit in this more three-dimensional uh, version also the plank has this because the k is selection it is a selection it's a focus on a certain place of a selection which is there as well it is more physical than that in the plank but actually it is the real underlying foundation is also this selection this slice which you take out of the area and that's how you can also use it as, for instance, a central plank or just like a central plank of the bill. It's the same word. It's the same meaning, even if it isn't a, a wooden plank. Let's go to the next word. Plint. I expressed it like this. When I drew it, uh, I, I had the difficulty that the P and the I is not a very good match because the P is pressing towards two points why the E is only just one point. So I, so the pressing has to go towards the E. It is, uh, it was a bit difficult how to express it. But what I know already is like the P is, will be the pressing in, which will go into the in, in. And the E is the vertical line of something that is inserted. So that's the E always. Which, has, which is given a content, or N, and which then in the end will be pressed in and inserted at a certain place because of the T, as you can see there. 
a possibility would be again like with the L it's always like you say okay cannot can't I add an extra dimension to make the expression more clear and if I do that I know already that it will fit better to the yeah to what the plint is already I will not do that or I didn't do that and it's not 100% necessary to do that but it can help to have a better more full expression like the L tries to achieve a full expression and if I compare it to what a plint is I thought that this image that I received was not so successful because it reminded me of planks a press, uh, that can uh, uh, I don't know the English word that it's uh, that they are interconnecting two planks that are interconnecting that's more the feeling I had in plint and and I was a bit confused because when I look at the plint it's just a, a, a plank against a wall but there are two uh, meanings of plint you have this plint from the, the that you can as you can see there underneath and you also have the plint as the plank on the wall and what is the most important thing of the plint it's not the plank it's the pressing in fitting in at the corners uh, even at the co uh, and at the corner it's, it's a pressing in and fitting together there it pressed in in into a certain point and yes then this drawing still is a match i grasped it even before i knew it myself so um so in the three-dimensional point of view it will even be of course more uh, easy to visualize let's go to the next word plus plus is uh plus is a uh, dutch word it means lake puddle pool so here also it is there's a difficulty with the s i have the p the l and the a and the and it has to go to the s the s is at the side it's at the borders it's at the, the maximum uh, the maximum that you can reach with it and it's a bit confusing that i have to stay here in this when i stay here in these two dimensions it is uh, where the, it doesn't match with the a anymore so i what I would help me is yeah that I have the A, I flip the A as well and add, add it there so that, that I can express it there as well. So in the full picture so that I can add the S. It's not just a trick, it's, to, it's a way of thinking that helps me to add the combination of A plus S. And here I have the A plus S. Is it very clear? Not yet. But the, all the content is in there already. The only thing I still need to do is, okay, let us add even an extra dimension there to show the expression what we have here. And if we do, yes, we have the pool here. The pool with a pressed out or pressed in, a pressed out flat surface actually, with on the side the maxima, ma maximum uh, effect of the S forms here at the end. It could be even a W form in some uh, some ways that you interpret it, but it's not a cloudy mess. It is really a surface with uh, with the outer effects uh, going going uh, wider or whatever. But the popping out thing is almost like a warning like hey on this horizontal frame watch out there is a surprise uh, in there it, it, there is something in there it is something that pff, uh, will get you wet in the end so be careful be careful be careful this is not the flat surface there is something more behind it and it will if you confront with it into the process you will feel that it you will be pressed in to it and sense it something like that this will i will go to a difficult more what not from plus to please and please is a bit more difficult because uh, yeah of course you have here the pla and then already in the areas that i can see where it fits in the a can be fit in the top and the a underneath 
and when it's expressed like e, e is the great length to insert. So that's something that I can already recognize underneath. But this is not what you need, this, this, this background, the, because this is a plus e, a plus e, yeah, and it's the other way around. So let's add it, the a plus e, and I follow the a, which is already there. And see where, where it gets me. I have the E in the middle. That's much more, that's more what I need. The E, the pressing out in the middle. And it's a small part missing. It's the E which I try to achieve. The E is our ideas, our, our insertions. It's something new, it's something extra. This extra thing is the plea to get it, to get it, you yeah, yeah. want to have it out of the process, you try to get it out of the process. Maybe it's not the best expression ever, ever but you can understand it from the viewpoint of it when you understand what is underlying as a letter combination. So if you can make a better one, it's okay, but you can already understand from what I already said. The P is the process that wants to receive results. The A is the what is directly processed. The A is what is actively engaged. And in the end, you have the letter E, which comes out, which is an expression of what you really have. That's what you desire. This is the desire for the solution. It will desire an insert of a solution to come out of the process so that it will fit. That's exactly what the meaning and the direction of the E is which is also more widely explained in my book. But that's what you can understand by a combination of letters. Maybe the expression in this small uh, uh, expression of the abstract uh, thing is not the most perfect one, but uh, you can have already have an idea and it, it might be helpful. And with the please, this plea will be completed in the direction of all the processing results and all these effects that we want to achieve with it as what expresses the S. This is, uh, if this is not satisfying enough, these two last two letters, okay, try, uh, you can try yourself to make a better solution, but the most important thing is understand what is underneath. Abstract, uh, words are not always so easy to express uh, as when you express them better they are a very good example of uh, of uh, yeah like a symbolized uh, form a little bit better was the next one the word plot is also an abstract word but uh, when i express it uh, visually and with a p i see the l there the o on top and then the t at the end so the the point of reference where I, I have where I make a distinction what I notice here is and what is recognizable is is focusing towards again the end result of a, a process not necessary to its limits but just I want an end result it's all all in the process of P plus L in O eventually into an environment into a process again the O of a process of L, 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 as well if we compare it with all the definitions of plot, let's do that. I used the Oxford languages reference. I have here unknown the plan made in secret by a group of people to do something illegal or harmful. A main uh, or the main events of a play, a novel, uh, a film, uh, and and so on. A sequence, so you said that you have an idea of the what it's uh, uh, what the whole sequence of events is. Or a small, a small piece of ground marked out for our purpose as building or gardening here, here in the context of a, a vegetal plot, something else. A graph showing the relation between two variables or secretly making plans to carry out as a verb. And again, a de the device, the sequence of events in a play, novel, film or work. Does this match? What I said is it's all about working towards an end result of a specific process. Maybe I can express it better, but does that fit with a plan made in secret? This secret is not uh, visible, but it is a plan working towards an end result. So as this planning, plotting, it is 
there. The main events of a play in a certain uh, sequence of events, the O is the process, so it can be as in, in, in parts, but that's not what it definitely says, but it is out of the process working towards an end, so it makes the visible what is behind it so yeah i can visualize what is the process about i have a clue at the end it can it is still a, a, re, a relative match in that way a graph showing the relation between two variables uh, yeah i don't i don't know in what way it uh, it is meant that way but it's also working towards the end results of a certain process so yes it could fit eventually so you can say there is something underlying in the letter combinations directs you in a certain direction and that is something which can be prove proven which is true which is real the interpretation okay yeah sometimes you have to um to uh, yeah learn it a little bit to to recognize it better but once you recognize it you also recognize where you can use it for if you recognize it very well you don't need much of uh, explanation you can sense what it is doing what direction it is and it will fit with all these words and if you're not convinced just try to make a symbolized version that expresses the word plot just like that and try to make it better than this one. This one is a spontaneous, uh, not definition, but a spontaneous drawing of the letter combinations. Nothing more than that. And it expresses for me quite well what a plot can be. So uh, can you express it be better? You can try, but I think this is already a quite nice tryout, let's say. Okay, anyhow, this was uh, uh, Gerald Johan van Waas again. Thanks for watching for this, uh, this video. Uh, I intended to make these videos a little bit more like the educational channel, so in a way that you can already learn it. Uh, so the first previous videos, they were also slightly like an introduction to confuse you a little bit like, uh, hey, is this possible? Hey, uh, but I can't do this myself. From this point on, there is a reference point in which you can gradually learn to do these things, as associate these things yourself. I don't have to convince you anymore, but you can try these things yourself. But of course, it needs a lot of uh, uh, exercise and explain and guidance maybe that's why there's so much guidance with these videos so many videos will be published uh, and will still be published afterwards subscribe to the youtube channel if interested and uh, and jump onto this new uh, wave of dealing with whatever this is subscribe to the youtube channel and you will keep uh, keep yourself updated. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.